Good evening. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Tuesday. We ready to do this? Taco Tuesday. Yeah, tacos day. I've had tacos in many weeks, actually. Should probably change that at some point, shouldn't I? Anyway. But we're gonna play. We're gonna maybe. I think we're gonna finish Graveyard Keeper tonight. I'm almost certain of it at this point. We're so close to the end. Unless there's like something just just hidden behind a wall somewhere, I think. I think we're gonna do it. But I, we were kind of pushing it last night to get there, but um, we didn't quite make it. So I think tonight's gonna be the night. I think we're gonna do it. Here's hoping we can. We, can we get our boy home? This poor man has been away from his family for so long now. Okay, let's bring our boy home. Wow. 307 days. Let's do it. So at this point, we had pretty much everything we needed. We've got two characters we still need to deal with. Which is pretty much Miss Charm and um, the Astrologer. They seem to be the only two we really need to deal with at this point. Oh yeah, we need to get back with the... Uh, we needed to get back with... Um, what's his butt? Oh, the poet, right? Because he's supposed to give us a song that we can then hopefully give them as charm. So is the plan. So that's gonna sell tonight. So have you done it? Yeah, I don't remember exactly. Ask for the, no, okay. I need to come back a little later. I couldn't remember if we were in the same day or not. Then again, I think we are. Well, he wants me to come back later. We'll do we'll do some things. Let's see what day it is. It's merchant day. How's life with your new title? It's miserable. The king's used to eating rubbish, and he seems to be okay with it. I'll try to improve his taste, but it's going to take a lot of work. So if you have all that work to do, why are you still coming here? <laughs> My new job is honorable, but not very profitable. And apparently, my glorious brother is in deep debt. It's my family responsibility to help him, so the fun never stops for me. Let's do some business. Alright then. Is there anything I really particularly need to buy off of him? I guess I could buy, like, what? Let's see. I'll buy a few silk off of him, I guess. How many did I need? I, I still need, like, four. Forward to polish out the church. Yeah, we'll do that. It's daytime. Maybe we talk to the poet now that's daytime. Nope. All right. So yeah, did we, we specifically don't have anything from him, right? We just need the greatest love song ever. But we just need to come back to him. Alright. Let's see what we can do to, like, get those last benches on the church done. Because who knows, this this game might surprise me and, like, blindside me. There's still, like, something more, you know? That's what it seems to like to do. Uh, let's see, where are they? 
soft church benches. Okay, I need so I need eight jointings and eight planks. No wait. Eight jointings and sixteen planks. If I want to make two of them. So 18, eight joint, eight joint teams and 16 planks. All right, let's take to make a jointing. We need more complex iron parts. Go ahead and make the planks I need. Okay, so let's see, for the jointings, I needed eight of these, which means I apparently need seven more beams. Just one set of nails short. Okay. All right. Hurry up. Get this work done. Come on. Chop, chop. Friggin' zombies. Do it. I need another set of nails. Let's queue up some nails, actually. There it goes. All right. We'll get those done while I'm making these. So many red points. Some more honey. Got so many bees at this point, I'm just destroying them every time. It's the final push, though. Just got a little ways to go. Grab a quick nap. We'll go apply this to the two church benches, then we'll head into town, pick up our gold, and then see if the poet has the song I need. I should keep the lid on this. <laughs> Come 
I can't believe I just happened to make booze yesterday and needed it right on the spot. Okay. Destroy these last two benches. We're no longer separating people out. What the hell all do I have in my inventory? Holy crap, I've got a million things. Um, destroy these bees. Ah, just read these books. Oh, I'm still carrying some booze. Um, spots down here. I wonder what I can put. Oh, I wonder if I can put more confessionals down or something. Not that they add much. Alright, well. Got some other things to do here. Some booze put away. Alright, yeah. Let's go check um... Go check the market and then we'll go see the poet. Let's see, we tried. Oh, today's snake day, isn't it? Not that he'll. I think both. Both snake and, um. The Inquisitor haven't really had much to say. Screwed. I'm growing hair in strange places. Meet me at night at sea cliffs near the mountain fort. Oh god, is he like a werewolf or something? Okay. This went weird. Alright. Meet him at night. We can do that. Like, at this point, I should be surprised if this game goes weird. Okay, let's put that away. Actually, no. This is... Zombie's been putting nails in that chest over there. Just, uh, this chest is always full now. How many silver ingots can I smelt up here? any space in my chest in the house anymore. <laughs> no, I don't. My... Christ. My inventory. I've got so much crap. still end up needing money. So don't stop. I fully, fully expect this game 
to try to blindside me with something. It's been very good at that. gold and more silver so we get we're getting plenty of gold now I mean we've got plenty okay it took me this long to realize I could stack more than one dose of coal in this thing <laughs> okay that's working hello Nina how's it going apparently I didn't get this going again It's about time, I guess, to go meet the poet. So I said the the cliffs the cliffs near the the fort, All right? I don't think it did. It actually give me a quest. at the sea cliffs near the mountain fort. All right. It's going kind of bored to spend 150 on anime figures because of sale. <laughs> nice. Did you get some good ones? or something, isn't he? Suppose you've seen a poet guy that's growing hair in weird places. Nope. Cool if I could get up there, but there doesn't seem to be any ways to get up there. Oh. Wagner, where are you? Hi. Calm down, it's me, Wagner. What happened to you? With Floyd Garrett confusion, it seems the legend only it seems the legends only reported half of the effects. I've written the greatest song in the world, but the deeper I looked into my soul, the more I turned into this. When I finished the song, this is what I became. Miss Charm will never love me now. Oh Wagner, I'm so sorry. It's still worth it. Here's the song. Who's there? It's a monster! He's trying to kill this poor guy! No, we're just talking! Grab him! Let me go! I'm the son of Lord Commander! Drag him to the mountain fort! Okay, well, I've got the song. But now, Wagner is gone. I 
dude, your your guy has grabbed my friend. Oh well. Well, I got the song, I guess. <laughs> Prize figure quality, so each one's about 20 bucks or less, and you got eight. Wow. Let's see, four different Miku figures. One swimsuit rim and one school uniform rim. From RE0. And one Amelia. And the dragon dress from RE0. One Rin. <laughs> one Rin. Beach figure of Vocaloid. Like Miku. Oh yeah, I know Rin. I know Miku. She created Minecraft. <laughs> God, uh, that that's one meme going around that I entirely approve of. Could try talking to this guy. I don't think he's got anything to say, but maybe he can help. So am I? Am I gonna like have to rescue, rescue this guy now? Say so it was thirty percent off the sale price. Fucking Tom points. And I have total. I have a total of like four hundred and sixteen in points. Holy crap! Where do you like put all that kind of stuff? I mean, I've got a lot of like pony stuff, and I had to like stop buying stuff because I couldn't figure out where to put it all. I've got an entire sh bookshelf down, like, floor-to-ceiling shelf downstairs. It's, like, full of stuff. And I've got, like, plushies sacked on top of a cupboard right over there. You got bookshelves? I've got plushies sitting up there, and I've got some sitting on the floor. He didn't have anything else to say. All right. So now I just need to wait several days for Miss Charm. Post a bunch of litter on your desk and TV stand. I used to keep them on my desk. I used to have like a bunch of the little mini figures on my desk, but it made my desk too impossible to clean. Because they would, my desk gets insanely dust, dusty, and I hated like picking up each individual one and moving it. Show you some pictures of your desk. It's not in the clean. Neither is mine. My desk is a mess right now. I've got a bag of chips here. I've got several empty cans here. I've got a water bottle. I've got a mug I haven't drank out of in at least two months. It's dusty as hell right now. <laughs> Yeah, my desk is not clean. But oh, the illusion of camera framing is great. <laughs> Alright, well what can we do to boost the church a little bit? The only thing I hate about my desk is like it gets it, it's cluttered so it's hard to keep the dust off of it but it gets like insanely dusty because I don't want to remove all the stuff it gets dusty <laughs> so, so we've got is there anything else I can do for the church in terms of points probably not that's for the graveyard there's the incense Professional 2. Stone Church Shrine. You need 250 of these points, though. I have to have this one to get that one. I'm gonna try grinding out 250 points, I suppose.
so you finished writing books. Oh, wait, how many did you write? You wrote several blue ones, nice. That almost gives me the points I need. Paper do we have four sheets? Same so you got trash, mostly knickknacks. Like a dollar of pennies on here from when you started your coffee can of loose change. Well, since you like ponies, a little story from the Fallout Equestrian campaign you're in. Oh cool, I'd like to hear it. I had a friend that's, um, because I'm going to the last BronyCon this year, and apparently one of my friends is, um, he's been doing a, a what is it, Tales of Equestria campaign, like the official one, and uh, he invited me to it, I mean, it's online, but, like, his group meets when I'm streaming, <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm gonna run one when I go to BronyCon, would you like to join? And I said, well, I might, I can't promise anything, but I might. <laughs> I'd love to do some more Fallout. I, I miss Fallout Equestria. They delayed my book. <laughs> I ordered. I ordered the um, the prints and the current. They gave an update a few days ago that the prints are uh, being delayed because of the binder. Apparently, the binder said something was on back order or something, so it might be like mid July before the books get out. And they were supposed to be out this month. Our session last weekend was hilarious after a few scary things. Uh, I got news of some stream on the 31st. Do you think they're going to do a Tales of Equestria one-shot? Oh yeah, I heard about that from Critical Role. Because it's got the guy, uh, Mark Humes. Mark Humes? Humes? He used to be part of the Yogg's cast, which I used to watch. He still does stuff with them. But uh, he's a pony fan as well. And he's done... He does his own, uh, I think it's called, um, High Rollers. He does, like, every Sunday. And, um, and he one time did a Tales of Equestria one-shot. Um, but yeah, I, I heard about that. Because, of course, the, the Yogg's cast, like, tweeted it out. And some other people that I know that, uh, watch, listen to Critical Role tweeted about, and I was like, I know that guy. And I know he likes ponies. <laughs> I've never I've never seen Critical Role before. I know what it is. And I've never... I think I, like, watched one of his um, High Rollers streams. He used to do them a lot during the Jingle Jam before he kind of split off from them. He would do, like, one-shots. I mean, he's still he's still friendly and like does stuff with them but yeah he like uh he just like went off on his own he's not like contracted with them anymore how many nails did i set you to make i forgot a bunch of nails Okay, so there's your character, Appletini Apple. A direct blood descendant of Applejack. She managed to become ascended to an alicorn in our last campaign, which rolled over to this one. Oh, nice. Another player is playing her sister, Zap Apple. Uh, she's a Sate, but tries to be like a badass in front of every pony, even though she's a newbie adventurer. Let's see, let's get more. 
Bitches get flitches. Still keep make I still gotta keep making the money just in case they side swipe me with something new. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I think I'm gonna sneeze. So I'm into this huge city, a Samurai Jack crossover going on here. Aku City. An Apple Teeny found that Zap Apple. Has a bunch of chips in her from our stable. So we go to a doctor and have them checked out and see what's up. Let's see what the status is. Looks like I've got extra, unless he's just being particularly slow. No, he's... Since Apatina was only aware of one chip that... that she used to have... To have the curbed emotions of love and such. She had that one, an anti Prager's one that was malfunctioned and making her manic depressive. Sounds like a good tale. Uh, it's midnight. Alright. start destroying silver at this rate because I don't think there's anything I can do with it. I don't think the blacksmith will buy it. We need to fill out the warehouse. Uh, one more to fill out the warehouse. Okay. And the ship to gather biological data and location info and send it out to the low frequency band. Somewhat understandable. But she had the chip in her head that was deeply wired into her brain, messing with her memories, and she found out it could control her if needed and potentially kill her. Ah. Kill switch. Alright, you're making me more nails. This is like actually expending my iron. Tina was not amused at this betrayal by her stable, after all the things she did for them. Right, 
I actually, I think I recall I didn't get to do the sermon last week because of... Or did I? I think I actually did get to do it. Maybe. Maybe not. It finally rained in the town. It didn't make any real difference, but now their faith in me is higher than ever before. So I'm going to take this opportunity to make reforms to help the poor and get rid of the Inquisition's cruelty. My brother has the same thoughts. We were born in a poor family, so their struggles are very personal to us. You're a good man after all, Your Holiness. My kindness and greatness are vast indeed. Keep everything going smoothly and we'll make the town a better place. Should like automatically get upgraded to the next tier. Also, why can't I like buy these? So if we find that we go to a doctor and see if we can get it up, but they want a crazy amount of money for the surgery. And one doctor we go to first does a cat scan to find the chips and tell us some bad news. He found a strange tumor in Zap's womb made of a strange material. At the time it seemed to be made of blood and iron which made opportunity think back to an incident that happened before but was undone to reality shifting shenanigans to merge the two parties together. Wait, why am I getting less? Wait. Why am I getting less? You guys used to pay me like 80 copper. What the fuck? Cheap assholes. <laughs> Get back here. Help the town. Now they're not going to pay out, huh? Let's see how it is. Hospital out of the question we update the rest of the group and our medic is a goo pony. Ghoul I'm goo pony or ghoul pony? A good pony healing a goo pony So pony healing self proclaimed so she can get the chips out easy peasy. Goo slime oh you have slime ponies really Is it like a is it like an actual campaign campaign or is it just like a kind of a like where you actually use dice or is it just like a like kind of a casual thing? So to meet a goop. Oh, I see, it's the Genesis system. Okay, so Miss Charm comes tomorrow. Plus, my eyes are slightly bugging me. I think they're. <laughs> Which is weird. I had the windows open yesterday, they were fine. I think it's allergies today. I don't have 
have the windows open today, but my eyes are bugging me. Oh, don't need any more silver. Using an actual Fallout system before, but our GM wanted to switch for a bunch of reasons. So go meet up with the group Goop is with, the Goo Pony. And they're in the local area watching and participating in arena fights. At a local arena, not area. Sorry, I read that wrong. Yeah, looks like we got extra crates. Good. How much money do I have? So. I have like three gold next time. Alright. Wonder if I can get another town pass. Uh, eager to get this done and over with. She doesn't worry about her sister anymore with death. She drags Goop to the nearby mayor's bathroom and performs the chip removal process. Oh, there you are. Come on. Just keep away from me, okay? What? <laughs> Tells me to stay away from her. What the fuck? Didn't mean to talk to you. Well, yeah, now she's all friendly. I have the perfect song. Here's your song. It was written specially for you. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, how sweet. Gives me little butterflies in my stomach. Who wrote this? His love is so pure. It's a real declaration of love. He under he's understood me. It was written by a poet who used to write here at the tavern. He's in love with you. Oh, I remember him. He was so shy. Where is he now? Well, I don't know how to explain it. He was captured by the guards. He's at the mountain fort. And in this present state, I don't think he'll be alive for much longer. Hold me. I'm going to faint. We need to save him. Promise me that you'll help him. Mm, this looks like the perfect opportunity for the astrologer to show how much he cares. I'll try to help you. You stay here for a while. Well, for fuck's sake. But the astrologer's like an entire week away. Motherfucker. <laughs> Why's my guy moving? It was weird. He was like strafing upward, but I was only holding the over key. Of course, opportunity goes with to make sure nothing bad happens, and so there's three ponies in the stall. in this big stall in the bathroom. After a bit of embarrassment, because Zap had to strip down in front of Big Sister. Which I pishod because it's, you know, wait. Ponies barely wear clothes except for the, the, the stable barding, usually. Most ponies have seen it all before. <laughs> Ugh, so now I gotta wait like an entire freaking week. Ugh. And the problem is there's no real other order I could have done this in because the way the story is kind of laid out, I have to do it this way.
I suppose I can actually get another town pass, can I? Probably not, because I think I had to get that from Snake, didn't I? Uh, we're all wearing stable tech jumpsuits and armor. Yeah, there's no way to get, like, another town pass. to burn so much time just to wait for the astrologer to show back up so anywho goop gets started going from zap Going in from Zap's honey hole. First job is to remove the weird tumor. The second she touches the thing, it instantly recoils from it, feeling her goose solidify. Oh, she's petrified. Oh dear. Maybe I had to hold on to my points just in case. Okay, we'll get the smelters going again. Meditate for time to pass at this point. Uh, so there's an opportunity holding her sibling's naked body while Goop's flailing around. Her whole body solidifies and she ends up transforming into a terrible changeling queen. Passed your fear check from seeing this, so you're fine. We mean terrible changeling queen. I'm trying to say. Be a goop, a goopoon, used to is who's used to not being solid. Suddenly, a solid pony can now see from eye, can now can see now with eyes and stuff. She collapses into the bathroom floor and starts crying about all the stuff happening to her. Hey, Dark Omen, how you doing? having to pass like an entire week because I have to talk to the astrologer. Stone's gonna have to go somewhere else. All the stroke is the attention of another party member outside while another member is with us. The doctor has a revelation about what the tumor actually was. This isn't going to be a thing where it's like, get your graveyard up to 800 points. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing left with Snake. It's 
So we got this massive cyber pony rushing into the marble bathroom, mayor's bathroom. Well, another mayor comes out and sees what's going on. Yeah, we'll, we'll go into town. When, um... When we go see the astrologer. It seems weird that, like, yeah, this is... It has to be done in this order, but I have to... There's there's probably gonna be something, though, right? There's gonna... It's, it is... It's gonna be, like, get your church up to, like, 80 points or something. We're gonna need to, like, you know, call down the wrath of God on this place. Something like that. And here I am, like, burning time. Ah. Uh, the mayor... It's a party member who slinks under the stall door like I can't see what's going on. She sees Goopo on the floor and a weird sphere tumor on the floor. She claims curiosity and tries to pick it up but misses because the sphere moves on its own and tries to get back to Zap. So I mean, infinite wisdom after the side proponent said don't touch it with your hooves thinking magic would do just fine. Okay. Astrologer should be there. Some extra books. So Abutini picks up the sphere in telekinesis, and GM's like, roll for resistance, please, oh god. And it's a stupid roll. Uh, when the DM says roll for resistance, or uh, anything dealing with combat, really, roll for resistance, perception, or. Uh, the other. Uh, tell him that Miss Charm needs his help. Here we go. I think I've found a way you can you can earn your daughter's forgiveness. What can I do? I'm ready to do anything within my power and beyond. There's one young man. Well, right now he's not exactly a man. Long story short, he's in danger. He's been imprisoned at the mountain fort. Your daughter wants to save him. Why? Well, she said that she loves him, so if we... If you help her release him, it would be a good first step. Hmm, interesting. The fort is closed and strictly guarded. I've been there once at an archaeological expedition. It didn't end well. We accidentally blew up the northern pass, and it wasn't our fault. The great blast interfered with our calculations. The Lord Commander threatened to kill me. We barely made it out alive. But many years have passed. I think we could arrange a new expedition by order of the university. And then we might covertly release the young man. The expedition. How are we going to arrange it? You don't even work there anymore. Meh, we're members of the inner circle. Lovers' quarrels are easy to mend. I just need to show them that I've made progress in my studies, and I'm in again. Have you made any progress? Not really. I feel so empty inside. Now I can't think of anything besides my daughter. You need to help me. You're, you're a smart young man. Do you know Do you know how to write? Yes. Write a book. It shouldn't be too bad, but write whatever you want. Crap. Silver Star book. With my esteemed name on the cover. It should go well. Crap. I need a Silver Star book. So a fair resi resilience roll because re resilience is doodle. 
right after I nab the orb, I feel something not bueno happening. Appletini, who's just a little alicorn, standing about three foot eight inches, gets transformed into a bat pony changeling queen. Almost like the animal chain, almost like a normal changeling queen, except for batty ears, bigger fangs, and larger wings instead of and, and leather wings instead of bug. Also black and green instead of. I'm also black and green instead of whatever chrysalis is. But chrysalis is black and green. Watch. I'm probably like low on supplies here and I'm not gonna be able to write a book. Alright. I need to write a book. Which means I'm gonna need to write the best chapters I possibly can. Roughly guarantee a Silver Star book. I can try to either do a hardcover and a silver chapter. Crap, I don't have enough ink. Means I'm not gonna get this book to him today. For fuck's sake! This is the problem with this part of the game, is like... There's two people I have to talk to, and they come... Like, at opposite ends of the week. And so, I have to... Do one thing for them, and then come back a whole freaking week later to give it to him. They were really good about that at the beginning, because you had so much to do, you could always, like, be on something else. But now, it's like, I'm on this final path here. And so now, I'm just kind of constantly just having to burn time. And it's getting kind of dumb. Yeah, because the, be, the day is gonna be over, because I have to make ink. And then I have to actually try to get the silver book. And then get back to him before the day is over, and it's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to get the book, wait a whole other week to come back and give him the book. And I have no other characters I have to deal with right now. I mean, I could do any other thing, like improve my graveyard, improve the church, but currently I don't see an actual point in it. There probably is a point, but... Done on time. Okay. To make a chapter, I need notes. I need three sets of notes. If I do silver, I'm not guaranteed a silver. What points do I need for playwright? Playwright or writer? Two can yeah, let's just do it. I can more properly gain it. Yeah, I've done I've done the entire dungeon. I'm I'm literally just on these characters right now. But they always ask me to do something and usually either it takes me a whole day to do what they need, or they say come back next time. And it's just like means I have to burn a whole week just to talk to you again. That's so... It, that, this is the point where I don't like it. Uh, 
I'll take a look at those in a second. All right, well, if I use silver stories, I can guarantee a silver. And then I think I can then guarantee myself a silver book. Do a hard cover. If I do a silver hard cover, how do I get a hard cover? It's already the next day. It's too late. I can't see him again. Ugh. Carrying on. Appletini has always been tiny. Her nickname is one point teeny the tiny terror. And the second one. To, oh. So going from tiny to ginormous was a dream come true. And being turned into a changeling queen was a lateral promotion for her. Already being an alicorn. Nice. How to make uh, the workbench? So let's see if I make. I got. I can make a silver chapter. I can make a silver star. Hard cover. Fuck the experimental side of this. How do I make tanning agent? Actually, Nina, send those pictures to me, like, either on Twitter or, like, on uh, Discord. So they don't get, like, lost in the... So after the change, the disruption of my magic, I used to drop the orb, it falls onto Zap, and slinks back into her body. Oh dear. <laughs> I need slowing powder, death solution, and order extract. I think I have all three. I need the tier two. Okay. Powder. Also got too much shit in my inventory. Wait, why is all this pen and ink actually in my inventory? None of that should be there. solution. 
Don't seem to have a death solution. What's a death solution made out of? Probably the dark organs? That's specifically made from a dark brain. Or black jelly. Actually, I've got tons of black jelly. We'll use that. sermon today. This is going on. Pine is outside thinking some sort of orgy is going on in the bathroom. Because when Goop went in to get the tumor, it made him made her moan in her sleep. We knocked her out for pain reasons. church better and they're cheaping it out on me what the hey sure which one this has got to get put in. Does it go in here? Let's see. So with Goop back to normal, she finishes what she's starting, gets all the chips out, but leaves the sphere alone, Albertini having lost her. her great tallness while is in despair and she screams no to the bathroom but the employees who is in charge of cleaning the bathroom quit his job <laughs> draw the noise going on in the bathroom oh I missed this part the cyberpony forms us the sphere is actually a magical relic of discords and that every hour is it's changed composition, what you get turned into. Oh, okay. And the nearby bar bartender says, the fuck? I don't even, and started drinking booze. <laughs> uh. See, Nerfie, I'm, I'm in. My character became a changeling like years ago now, actually. It was actually, it was meant to be temporary. She wasn't supposed to stay one, but she actually stayed one. And then she got promoted, and then she joined Queen Chrysalis' hive. And then now she's like promoted to alpha, like in the past year. So now she's like, uh, she's got abilities. Let's see, I need to put this in. Okay, this has got to be done in the right order. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Why does it have to be done in the right order? So let's see, I had to go back to... Takes the sling powder, death solution, and order extract. That's what I... 
time. It takes the slowing powder. Oh, it's death solution, not extract. I made the wrong one. Because I have death, death extract. I need death solution, which means I need to... Grab another slime. That's about it, leaving out some other stuff pertaining to Appletinium stuff. Didn't want to go off on a tangent. I mean, that sounds fun, though. Actually, at this, the rate I'm going, a week is going to have passed by the time I accomplish this. Okay, that gave me... That gave me the tanning agent. Good. So then again, to make the hard cover, now I need a soft cover. It takes two of these. Cover brown. Okay, now I need steel parts. I think a lot of the role playing games would be fun, but you never got to try one. Have you read? Oh, uh, Horizon, Project Horizons? No, I haven't read it. I, I've i got it, and I read, like, the first several chapters of it. It seemed pretty good, and it's highly rated. I just, I haven't, I haven't taken the time to actually read it. Or read any more of it. You might not get this reference, one of my magical achievements. Okay, I need to make more steel parts. Actually, add steel. Let's make some more steel. You don't want to spoil things for me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how spoiler it would be. It's a weapon. I don't know. I mean, I've seen some things of Blackjack. Some things that might potentially spoil things anyway, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I, I haven't sat down to read it. <laughs> when I read Fallout Equestria, I read that on and I <laughs> spent an entire two weeks in the States on a trip just reading it. I didn't want to do anything else.
Okay, let's get this silver cover book. Whatever happens, please don't give me a gold one. Watch, I'll get that 20%, won't I? Yeah, good. Okay. I've got the Silver Star book. So we're there on that. So I guess now I just need to burn some time until he shows up. If you fly all the way over to the USA for two weeks to read a book, that's kind of what happened. I, I had it at the time for something to read on the flight. And then I it, it turned out to be so good, I didn't want to stop reading it. Pretty much how it happened. <laughs> magical weapon that fires Mega Death Laser. Appletini has the ability to fire Alcor, magic equivalent to that gun, but it's super hard to cast. All right, so good lord, we get to wait so many days for the astrologer to come back. It's a merchant day, and I haven't really prepped anything for the merchant. Alright, we'll burn time. Must AFK to make dinner. Oh, burgers sound good. Oh, I'd like a good burger. That sucks. My girlfriend's off this week, and we had a nice last week, and then this week it's gone... In typical Dutch weather, it's gone all cold and rainy. So last, last week was pretty nice, we had the windows open and everything, and then this week she takes off. <sighs> no, it's crap. <laughs> Shit weather. Ugh. We were hoping to get some stuff done outside, because we still got like old plants on the side of our house that are old vines that were from the previous owner we want to get rid of. So we were going to spend this week going out and getting rid of them, but the weather just freaking sucked. Alright, I want to see these pictures. Oh, nice. I guess I'll remind me to comment on it when, when Nina gets back. Reminds me of another character. Uh, it got to 106. It got to 107 in your era while you're just gone. It was 101 where you went. Holy crap! I'm not saying I want it to get that hot, but I'm so tired of cold weather. <laughs> I'm so so tired of cold weather. Christ, I hate it. It's okay. In the next 20 years, the planet will be insanely hot every day uh. <laughs> all right we've burned <laughs> burned like several days to make it astrologer day I'm 
I'm like neglecting every duty I have to accomplish this stuff. You want to live where it's cold? She could move north. I mean, it never. It, it gets hot here a few months out of the year. Then it's pretty cold. It's not like super cold either. I mean, we haven't. We haven't had a significant snow for years. But at the same time, we've. We always have pretty mild summers. Which kind of annoys me. Because <laughs> I like hot weather. being cold. page okay come by next week and I'll tell you what happened are you kidding me I literally have nothing else to do why do I have to come back next week what the fuck and it's not like this is the chain of events. It's not like I could have done this in any other order, so I had other stuff to do. I literally have nothing to do with any of the other characters because that is the order the story made me do it in. Why do I have to come back in a week's time? I just had to wait a week to give him the book and then he tells me, come back a week from now. What the shit? The game has been great up until this point. What the fuck? The end game is actually annoying me now. Just let me finish it, for fuck's sake. At this point, you're just trying to artificially extend the time. Holy shit. I'm starting to lose my interest in playing it. It's gone from a great game to one that is annoying the piss out of me. Ugh. Why come back in a week? I swear to God, if it turns out that like... The, the end game is like, you have your graveyard up to 600 and have the church maxed out. I'm gonna freaking quit. For fuck's sake. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make him meditate for a whole fucking week. I don't care. This is, this has gotten to the point of extreme ridiculousness. I mean, if I had the dungeon to do, but, I mean, again, to get this far, I have to have done everything else with everybody. So I had to have completed the dungeon. I had to have completed the stuff with the merchant and the bishop. I had to have upgraded the church. I had to do everything else before this point. So it's, it's just not like I could have done this in any other order and I railroaded myself. This is the game now putting me in a corner. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll do the sermon. I'll do the sermon at least. Christ me. <laughs> Come back next week.
I mean, it feels like at this point, if it's like for the narrative reasons, then let me go into the town. Let me visit him at the university or wherever. You know. But I start to get the feeling the town isn't even somewhere I can actually go. Yeah, you're done with that task. Come back next week for another task that will take 25 in-game hours to do than wait another week. Yeah, that seems to be the way it's going to be. It, he's going to give me... It's it's going to be this thing where it gives me another task that takes slightly longer than I have to even come back. They're paying me less money each and every time. What the hell? I guess they're getting bored. Or at least in this point in the game, let them, like, stay. Let them stay in the spot. Don't make them constantly do this rotation. Because he's literally the only one I have to talk to. I mean, you know, it's either, like I say, it's either going to be that or something that's going to take me the next, like, 20 in-game hours to do that I should have been, like, working on up to that point. You know, like, expanding my graveyard or something. Because it's still Graveyard Keeper, but... And, and with the size of the graveyard, 200 points isn't actually that much. So it makes me feel like it makes me feel like they're gonna pull something like that on me, and I'm gonna be very unhappy about this. <sighs> uh, I love this game. It's a great game, but I'm ready to finish it. Just let me finish it. <laughs> me wait a whole bloody week. <sighs> Heck, at this point, just let me pick a day. It's either that or I'm going to talk to him and he's going to be like, okay, now we need the Inquisitor's help. And the, the reason I say that's going to be funny is because he comes before the Astrologer. I wouldn't put it past this game to pull that. <laughs> like, we're going to need everyone's help. I can't believe I'm literally burning an entire week. I mean, if I, if I was paying this, playing this more, at a more relaxed pace. I mean, I would do many of the other things, too. I would work on the graveyard. I'd work on, like, fishing and all this other stuff. You know, work on the other achievements. But I'm, I'm, I'm not... Maybe I'm not necessarily ready to be done playing it. I'm ready to be done streaming it. <laughs> I'm ready to move on to another game. How many times have I done this? Quite a lot since yesterday, it feels like. I've been just doing this whole meditation thing because I've... There's so few people I have to deal with now. Because as I knock each and every one of them off the quest chain, there starts being gaps in the timing. Okay, it's been a whole freaking week.
I mean, realistically, the mechanic has worked. Each character coming by once a week has, has worked. But there was tons of shit to do. Yeah, I did ask why they had a meditation area when you could sleep. Yeah, because you can't sleep when you're not tired. It really is a time burner. Which I thought, yeah, it'd be kind of silly, because there's always so much to do. There's, th there's always something to do in the in-between time. But yeah, it's like, here I see at the end game. It just seems like an artificial problem. Uh, I didn't read your book, but everybody at the university was excited. Perhaps a little too excited. They called it a breath of fresh air, and now they want a sequel. I will slit your throat right here, sir, and bury you in my graveyard. So we need to... Are you f fucking kidding me? Spent that fucking time making that silver star book. Give it to him. Come back a week later. Oh, now I need a gold star book. It's going to take me all day to write the fucking thing. I'm going to give him the book one week from now, and he's going to say, come back a week later. Motherfucker. This game has gone from great to absolute fucking unadulterated garbage. This is the worst mechanic ever. Everything that I praised about this game has now collapsed in a steaming pile of absolute bullshit. I'm more pissed off than playing RimWorld right now. What the fuck? They are artificially adding time to this game at this point. This game has gone from highly rated to I now hate this game. Motherfucker. Why would you do this? What pro what story writer programmer in their right mind thought that was a good idea? No, the player will love this. Go fuck yourself. Uh, everything I've praised about this game has now become the thing I hate about it. Motherfucking god. I'm full of salt right now. Sorry. I want to finish this game and is now artificially extending it. Ugh. So now I gotta write him a stupid freaking golden book. For what purpose? Why? Why do I need to write him a golden book? Because the game tells me I have to. fucking paper. This is so dumb. I cannot believe they're doing this. How many notes do I have? One gold star note. thing. I'm never going to make it before it leaves. I 
Good. The steel parts are outside. And plus, I need jewelry. I'm never gonna make it. I'm gonna have to wait another. I'm gonna have to burn an all, a whole other fucking week. Why would you do this? Why? What was the purpose of this? I'm not having fun anymore. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just angry. It's dangling the end of the game out in front of me and it just keeps kicking it a little bit further down the road. For no discernible reason. I can't figure out why they would do this. I need more steel parts. Yeah, I need more steel parts. I don't have enough steel parts. By the time they're done, the day is over. to make me wait but but it's just like I say it's to artificially make the game a little bit longer <laughs> no point there's literally no point I mean Here's the incredible thing, because according to the story, this guy, you know, the poet guy, is about to be executed. So yeah, let's burn three weeks of in-game time, because apparently it's not that big a deal. I mean, it doesn't even really follow the story narrative. <sighs> this guy's pissing me off more than RimWorld. I'd be more calm playing RimWorld right now. <sighs> Alright. Here's my current review of the game. The first three-fourths of the game are amazing. It's a great game. Last part of the game is utter freaking garbage. Ugh. I'm sure my girlfriend hears me in the other room. But she knows it's spoiler territory, so she can't look in and see what I'm saying. There's the Golden Star book. Completed one day later. Sorry for the delay, you're here. <laughs> she might still be awake, she probably, maybe, maybe my saltiness, um, might have woken her up too. <laughs> How you doing, Rick? Hmm. 
I wonder. I'm, I'm watching. I can see BronyCon tweeting something. They're tweeting their next. They're giving hints to what their next guest they're going to announce tomorrow is. And their first hint they've given is, our guest of honor really enjoys superheroes. And I'm already making a guess because I happen to know one guest who is currently working on a superhero cartoon. Anyway. Uh. Well, I've been work errands and grinding in a blade. I'm I'm apparently there's grinding in this game. <laughs> for for what you weren't here for, I had to meet the astrologer. He says he wants a book, a silver star book. So I have to by the time I finish making it, I have to come back next week. I give him the silver star book. He says, "All right, I'll go take it. Come back next week." So I come back a week later. He goes, oh, they loved it. Write a gold star book now. I can't finish it that day, so I gotta come back next week. <laughs> this is all I have to do. I've literally burned like three weeks in this game. This has been most of the game right here is this screen. So as Burning Crown goes, can as Ashley Ball? She almost never goes to any convention. I like I think she's gone to like maybe two conventions in her entire pony career. I don't know of her going to many. Everyone's wanting see here's the thing, everyone's wanting Lauren Foss to go to the last BronyCon. And given the hint that she's really into superheroes, and she's currently work and she's currently working on the the DC Superhero Girls cartoon. Or it could be Gail, because she wrote an episode, an upcoming episode of Pony. And she writes for DC. One of the two. That's, that's the thing that's like throwing me, is it could be her, because they had one of the, they had a DC writer uh, write an upcoming episode. But I don't know. Everyone's wanting Lauren Fels to come. I would love if John Delancey would come, because every convention that he was supposed to go to that I was going to, he had to cancel. I was really hoping Peter knew we get to go, but apparently he went last year, and there's no confirmation that he was going to get to go this year, and he really wanted to go this year. I was like, damn it. <laughs> he never goes to the ones I can go to. And apparently he was here in the Netherlands last year, and I went, shh. <laughs> yeah, super intense meditating, because I literally have to wait a week. Cause this is what the game has railroaded me into. He's the only character I have left to do anything for. And he keeps making me come back a week later. I swear if I give him this book. And he, he's, go, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. I'm gonna give him the book and he's gonna say come back a week from now. I swear if this, if this game is grinding me. I'm not going to finish it. There's just no way. I got better things to do with my time than this crap. I would be getting more done playing a clicker game right now. We just meditated another week.
I've like ceased doing everything else in this game. I'm not dealing with the graveyard. I'm not dealing with the church. I'm not dealing with the merchant selling stuff. I'm just trying to complete the game. It's gonna though. I, I can I can feel it coming. I can feel it coming. Not only is he gonna tell me to come back a week later after giving him this book. There's also going to be something like the graveyard needs to be at 500 points or something. Here's your book. Oh well, this looks good. We'll be going on that expedition in no time. Come back a week later, right? Because why not? Why not? You know. Fuck me. Yep, I gotta come back a week later. Plus, I don't like the way he said that. We'll be going on that expedition in no time. It's like the game knows it's fucking with me. And while I don't mind the cheeky little thing here and there, at this point, this is actually aggravating. But here, I'll go, like, this this dude here is going to go sit his butt in the sand and meditate another fecking week. Why not? I don't have any other characters to talk to. Only him. He's the only one. Let's burn another week. Uh, yeah, we did get to kill the Witcher. That was hilarious. It was absolutely hilarious. He's gonna be- at this point, this man is gonna be so zen, he could probably bring himself back to life into his own world. Uh... Like I was saying, I loved this game up until this very point. I'm not even going to do the sermon. Fuck the sermon. Church is out. We're not doing the sermon. Yeah, we totally, we totally killed Gareth. <laughs> that was a hilarious Easter egg. It wasn't really an, well. It was an Easter egg, but it was part of the main storyline. Ugh, oh, god damn it! This is what the late game looks like. Yeah, that brothels. He was at the brothel for like ever.
I mean, let's let's remember the poet's life is in absolute danger, and there's no time to lose. He was probably going to be executed not too long after he was captured, now four weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, normally it's one of those little things you hand wave in games, especially in RPGs and whatnot. For some reason, this just feels wrong. This entire thing, this entire part feels wrong. This is, this is this game. This game has gone from the top of my list and now it has, depending on how meeting the astrologer goes now, is it's one chance to actually redeem itself. This game has gone from the top of my list to now having to redeem itself all in the span of roughly four hours. How is four hours? Has it been that long already? No. Three or four hours. I guess it has been, hasn't it? Surely it's not been four hours. It definitely hasn't been. It's been three hours. Yeah, it's a real shame. I mean, like I say, there's other stuff I could be doing. I could be working on my graveyard, you know, making it better. There's, there's plenty of the small stuff to do. You know, earn more money, make cool potions. You know, there, there's, you know, there's plenty of achievements to get. But for the sake of the stream, I don't want to do that. I want to finish the game. <laughs> so, I mean, on the one hand, it's allowing me plenty of time to do this other stuff while I get to this point. But I didn't want to do that. Considering the game has always, for the most part, given me an option to buy every item I need versus crafting it, now it's not even giving me a speedy option. I don't know what you wrote, but my professorship has been fully restored and I've been promoted. Uh, the best of all, the Dean has signed the expedition papers. But we have a problem, final problem. We need someone with aristocrat papers to accompany me. Ah, I have them. Would normally be a problem to find someone, but considering the sensitivity of our situation, it should really be you. Get yourself some aristocrat papers. I'm depending on you. Okay, this is a little stupid. Because to even get this far in the storyline, I already had to prove to two people I had the aristocrat papers. There's no branching off of this. I had to do it in this order. Good. Everything. Maybe not. Maybe if I purchase some stuff early on, there's a different branch. Maybe. I'll send for my daughter. She will join us near the fort. Let's start this expedition for the love of God. We have papers from the Royal University. I need to go to the old archaeological site. It might pass, but I'll have to let Lord Commander know you're here. Oh, there's no need. Brave soldier, let him sleep. We'll talk with him in the morning. Thank you both for helping me. Where can we find Vigner? Vagner. He should be in the camp near the road. Like, there. Looks like the soldiers are sleeping. Vagner. Oh, Miss Charm, you shouldn't see me like this. It's all right. I see only your inner beauty. Let's be quiet. How can we get this? How can we get this cage open? I have some lock picks. I had a pretty rough youth. Uh, what did he just say? Then we can get him out of one of the crates. Wagner, what a beautiful name. Miss Charm, I have so many. There you are. You've ruined everything! My son should have been a glorious knight, and now we don't need him anymore. So he decided to become a writer. What a shame. You're the one who... You're the one who blow up the passage. It's all your fault. It wasn't my fault. We needed a new calculation after the Great Blast. I think our golden angle wasn't that accurate, so... Ah, excuses! I know that something... 
I know that something's going on. First this creature, then your expedition. You're all traitors and you're probably a witch. I'm with the Inquisition. I'm undercover. You can kill me if you want, but release my daughter. Father, I cannot leave without my father and this young man. I have connections at court. Can I just leave, please? Aha, uh -huh, the court. I'm the king's uncle. And I am his son, Wagner. Oh, shut up. I'll admit Wagner is, of course, is a great disappointment, but this is too much even for him. I can prove it. I have the birthmark just to the left of my tail. It should be somewhere around here, under my fur. You know, I'm just gonna kill you all. No bodies, no problem. I can help with the bodies, Lord Commander. <laughs> so it seems this is the end. Forgive me, daughter. I cannot change what I did. But right now, you are everything to me. Father, this is the best day of my life. I've found my father and my love. Wagner, let me kiss you. Oh god, Beauty and the Beast, right? My son! Yes, father, it is me. You nearly killed your own child, but I forgive you. I have a deal to offer you. I'll become a knight, but you have to let everyone else go. That sounds fair. As for you, old man, we're not done. But for now, all of you can go. Wagner, don't be sad. We'll be together soon. Here, take this necklace. I think it belongs to you. I bought it using my father's name. I wanted to make it a surprise. Everything seems to have ended up well. I don't know, my young friend. I think we still have a lot of problems. Wagner is alive and safe. Come along, father. I want you to show him... I want you to show me where you live. And you, thank you for everything. Is everything. Is there anything I can do for you? That necklace, I need it to get back home to my love. Hmm, seems it's already helped me. I hope you know. I hope it helps you now too. Here, take it. Oh, young man, I managed to get a golden angle from my old stuff after all. It's yours as we agreed. Thank you. You look like your mother. But I'm as smart as you are. Poof. We're gone. Oh my god, we have everything. Yeah, we finally got that fucking necklace after all this time. That necklace that has... That has been on my to-get list from the very beginning. Practically. Right, so I have everything I need to make everything I need to potentially go home. So I'm gonna go gonna go rest in the bed. And then there's probably gonna be some like forever trick to getting this thing to work. But yeah, I don't think I have any quests left, do I? No, like everyone's clear right now. I have no other quest than to do this stuff on Witch Hill. Uh, now blow up the village and destroy the people's lives once again. At this, after what I just endured, I'm all for it. Everything I just endured. I'll do it. Like I say, everything up to this point has been a lot of fun, but when you just want to beat the game and your your goal is right there, it just seems like such a strange thing to stretch it out like this. The last part, craft the barrel. Everything is ready, but what's next? How do I turn the portal on? So, you're going to leave? I need to get back to my love. I'm really sad now. I'll miss you. Me too. Sad. 
Hmm, I remember. This portal isn't just for traveling. It can make your heart's desire come true. Hmm, it seems like something went wrong with my wish. Hi, friend. We've come to say goodbye. How did you know? Well, we've been banned from the town. Two brothers, one in the royal court, the other is a high cleric. That sort of thing looks suspicious to the royal council. When we went to the tavern, and then Lawrence had a feeling in his stomach that you were here. But I did manage to excommunicate half the town before we left. Now the only official church is the church beside the graveyard. Now you can take the church and the garden if you want. The symbols are starting to shine. Dita, Harvard... We barely managed to escape the town. The Lord Commander used all his influence to slander us. To be honest, it wasn't hard to find something to pin on us. The town's quite a mess these days. The Dead Rise, Lord's Inquisitor, is accused of being the leader of a dark cult and a terrible... It is a terrible time. Bishop has excommunicated the town! They were asking for it. We're going to hide in the lighthouse for a while. Maybe we'll be able to get in touch with Wagner somehow. I told you he'd be here. I see you're planning on leaving us, my friend. Yes, I still don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> this is bad, very bad. The curse is only gaining momentum. We can't stop it. It may be too late. I should feel great about it, but I'm not. We're going to settle here and rebuild our old house. This place is sacred and protected, and protected from the curse. But still, we're facing an amazing time. Everything will change. I'll pray for our safety. It works! My last wish came true! I'll be with my love. Sweetheart! My love! Wait a minute. Is that it? Where's the zombie apocalypse? The invasion from the north! <laughs> nice. Traveling on a ship with the merchant? Hell, the town. Nobody's ever showed us the town. I'm disappointed. Meh, there's just a bunch of greedy capitalist pigs. With all that stuff, they make a ton of DLCs to earn some extra money. <laughs> You're right, comrade. Let's go grab a beer. A carrot martini for me. There we go! Fucking did it. Sounds like Monsignor. Possibly. Yeah, the last bit really seemed like a pacing issue. Yeah, they never did show us the town. I was Part of me was disappointed in that, but as I was trying to get near the end, I was like, please don't let there be a town. <laughs> it seems kind of weird to like tout it like that. And what I don't understand is it looked like you could go down below. Because it looked like there was a spot to gather coal and this other stuff. But it never actually... Um, gave me a way down there. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's one, to make sure, one way to make sure no one cares about another part of the game. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like when you just want to finish it. Yeah, I don't care about the town anymore. Forget the town. It's a very small crew that made this game. And there's tons of achievements to get. I haven't got a lot of them. But yeah, it just feels like the pacing at the very end. It went from a game that I was loving to like, at the very end, I just when I just want to beat it, you know. It feels weird to make me wait four whole freaking weeks. And plus, that's a weird ending. Instead of him going home, instead of him going home, his wife comes here. And we never even really learn how he ended up there to begin with. Like, why was he there? Why was he the new graveyard keeper? It feels like their story piece is missing I want to know about. Oh, it just cycles through. Okay. Sure. There's questions unanswered, and I don't know how to feel about that. 
340 days. This 340 days... We were like at 306 when we started today. Like, like almost 40 days was just waiting for the, the time to pass. Ugh. I wonder what happens if I reload it. I'm just curious. Uh. Okay, I'm just here again. Yeah, I have all the things. So there we go. That's Graveyard Keeper. <laughs> we did it. We beat it, finally. That's it. Yeah, I'm, like I say, I'm only... I'm disappointed in how it kind of really dragged at the end there. I mean, there was still plenty of stuff I could have done to fill the time, but I just didn't want to. And, you know, and then the story bits, like, why was the guy here? And why did he bring his wife in instead, instead of going home? There's like, there's like pieces of this story missing. <laughs> uh... You say that might make another long one, yeah. It's like to get answers to this part of the story, you're gonna have to like talk to one character that only comes once a month. And he's gonna ask you to craft one thing each and every time that takes an entire day <laughs> to make. And then when you deliver it to him, he's gonna tell you to come back the next time he shows up. Uh I think if you'd let the blast would have happened, bring her here didn't. That's, that's kind of my thought, like I feel like that's maybe what he did by not leaving the blast didn't happen or something. Oh well. It was still a good game. I, I will say this. I recommend it. I do actually recommend the game. Because everything up until what happened today was great. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I'm kind of really tempted in my personal time to go back and try to get all the achievements. Um... But yeah, it's just that end bit. Jesus Christ, that was so inf almost infuriating at that point. Just like, just let me finish. <laughs> oh God. But there we go. That's Graveyard Keeper. I I, I do recommend it though. It, it it is a good game. It's just the pacing at the very very end is terrible. But everything up to that point, it was it was good because it took like the things about Stardew Valley that it improved on him. Like, one, I liked that sleeping wasn't at a hard time. You could stay up a couple days, you know, kind of do what you wanted, but you still had to sleep. But you kind of got to choose how to do that, so you weren't set to a hard time on that. There was always something to do at any given time. So even as you dealt with one character, there was another character to deal with until the end, when you had one character left to deal with. Um... The gold was a bit of a grind, it felt like, but we managed to pull it off kind of quickly. Um, and yeah, a lot of it was, was quite fun. And it, like the fishing, the fishing was so much better. It was basically, it was Stardew's fishing, but improved. <sighs> it's really good, but tripped at the, yeah, it tripped at the last bit at the finish line. It was like sprinting the whole way through. And then at that last bit, it just fell on flat on its face. Which is a bit disappointing, but I mean, I don't know. The journey was, was worth it, and I do recommend it. So if you, you feel like it's a game you might enjoy. And, you know, there's the whole aspect. You could get the perfect graveyard. You could get zombies to do more stuff. All that kind of stuff. So there was, there was plenty to do. Just at the very end, it just drug out. <laughs> it just was such a drag. Oh, goodness. Goodness. 